Today I'm going to show you how to do the braidless individual crochet illusion. If you don't know how to braid on cornrow, you don't have to worry today because there will be no cornrow, no box braids and no braiding. So we're going to start with the front first and I'm just parting the front because that's where I'm going to do the illusion. If you've seen me do this technique before then I'm sure you're familiar with what I'm doing right now. So we're going to do one row of the illusion in front and my model has thin edges so I'm just making sure I put enough hair on her edges for the illusion. So the hair we're using today is from Believe Hair on Amazon and this is their short passion twist. And in one bag there is 8 packs of the passion twist hair. So I have 10 inch in color 1B and this is what it looks like when you open it up. I particularly like this passion twist because it has beautiful curls on the ends. Usually when I do short passion twists, it's just a regular passion twist, but as you can see, it has beautiful curls on the ends and the hair is just super, super, super soft. And yeah, so that's the hair we're using today.
Okay, so we're done with the illusion. Now we're gonna tuck the rest of the hair away. And how we're gonna do this is by creating fake cornrows. So now you know how the fake cornrow look like. I would only do this on a friend or a family member, someone that just want to wear this temporarily. I would not do this for a client, someone that is paying me because I would want them to, you know, wear their hair for a long time and actually braid it down. So if you want to help your friend out or do your sister's hair or your daughter's hair, then yeah, go for it. You could do this braidless method. But please, if someone is paying you, I don't recommend you doing this for someone that is paying you to do their hair. So this is really just to, you know, help someone out if you can and you don't know how to braid. So talking about clients, um, when I was taking clients years ago, I started out by traveling to people and doing hair from their houses as well as even borrowing my friend's apartment at one time to do hair in her house. Um, but yeah, I didn't have a place to do hair when I was starting out. And so what really helped me to get clients was social media. I started out to use Instagram, especially Instagram. I know there are other apps now like TikTok and all that stuff, but I chose Instagram because of the level of trust that people have on, for Instagram because it's been there for a while. And I talked more about this in my book, Clientele from, from Scratch, where I also explained the technicals of how I use Instagram to get a lot of clients, including high-profile clients like celebrities. That's basically how, how I started and was able to get a lot and a lot of clients and build myself up. All right, now I'm down to the ends, and I'm going to show you two ways to tuck the ends away, so just pay attention.
all right back to the clientele talk so um if you're just starting out i would recommend using models like i'm doing right now i'm using my sister-in-law to do this hairstyle right so you want to use models so that you're able to build up a portfolio because people like to see your previous work to be confident enough to book you yeah you have to be willing to do models or do people's hair for free or even at a discount um that's what i did in the beginning you basically have to humble yourself if you really want this as a career and just um go for it and just keep doing models and the, the good thing about doing models is that they are your walking advertisement so basically when people see your work on on the models you do they're gonna you know ask about where they got their hair done all right the next step is to use a deluxe weaving cap like this one and this cap must have nets because you're gonna need the nets to be able to pass the crochet needle through easily so I'm just gonna wear the net over the fake conroe as you can see me doing and then we're gonna start crocheting the hair normally so just keep on watching So back to the clientele talk again so it's very possible for you to become a celebrity stylist it's possible to realize your dream of having high profile clients charging your worth things of that nature like you can do it like it's very possible people that are doing it don't have two heads 
you know I've done it and I, I know that it's very very possible I was able to to get a lot of clients and build myself up and open a hair salon within the space of two years although right now I'm retired from doing people's hair like clients and stuff and just doing YouTube and just sharing with you guys what I know over the years so if your dream is to do hair as a business or to have a hair salon then you definitely need to start from somewhere and my book is going to help you get started so if you want to know all the details of how I did it and how you can do it just go to the link in the description box I'm going to leave the link to the book and make sure you read it but this is the finished look guys this hair is super gorgeous and it looks super natural and it's just amazing how we were able to achieve the illusion without actually braiding so yeah I love it <laughs> so I'm applying some Cantu mousse now just to moisturize the twist and I'm just gonna hold it together you could hold it together or you could tie it down with the strips just to lay it flat and that's basically what I am doing Ah, oh, so beautiful I absolutely love it and my sister in law loves it too so if you want to get the hair I'm gonna leave the link to believe here on Amazon the link is gonna be in the description box so go get their show passion twist and you will not regret it thank you for watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time